Two of the following videos are true while the other one is trash. Can you spot the fake? Next, it's time for round two, a special blurred round. The regular rules still apply, I'm just gonna blur a critical scene to make things interesting. If you take a glass bottle and fill it to just below the neck with water and grip the bottle like this, you can strike the bottle with your hand and the bottom of the glass bottle will break. This weird glass container has multiple different sized tubes, all connected at the bottom. It's a device that shows how a liquid column's height corresponds to the pressure at the bottom of the container. So if you fill it up with water that's been dyed blue and then place it so it's right side up on the table, you can easily see how the height of each water column is the same, regardless of the diameter of each tube. If you place a dollar bill between two glass bottles where one is balancing upside down like this, you can quickly pull out the dollar bill without causing the glass bottle to fall. You've seen all three videos now, pause to vote in the comments which one you thought was fake. It's true that striking a glass bottle like this with your hand can cause it to break, although I don't recommend this for pretty obvious reasons as you could definitely hurt your hand. The jolt to the bottle causes a partial vacuum at the bottom of the glass bottle and this reduced pressure causes cavitation. When the vacuum collapses rapidly, this sends a shockwave that breaks the glass. You also can quickly pull a dollar bill out from between two glass bottles without the top one falling. And this is a much lower stakes party trick than if you try to do the classic one of pulling a tablecloth from a table, which will probably result in disaster. It turns out this video was fake. The water actually reaches the highest height in the smallest tube and then lowers as the tubes get larger. This demonstrates the effect of capillary action, which is caused by the attraction of the water to the walls and to itself.